my name is Colleen Eskaitis. I am the owner and lead trainer at Thrive On Challenge, a personal training and coaching company here in Sarasota, Florida. And today I'm going to make for you a healthy vegan snack or dessert. Um, I've also found that this is great power food if you're out on the bike for a long time. Throw these in a Ziploc baggie, put them in your back pocket. They're easy um, and quick. Uh, the main ingredients of these are medjool dates, which are high in calcium, iron, uh, fiber, and protein, which believe it or not, it's actually one of the highest fruits for protein content. Um, the other ingredient, main ingredient, are raw walnuts. I like putting walnuts in this instead of almonds because they're oilier, so they stick better. Um, then we've got sea salt, which I put in a handy little glass container because it's a cooking show. And the last ingredient is desiccated coconut, shredded coconut, that I picked up at the store. Optional ingredients, we've got agave nectar and we have cocoa powder. That is if you prefer these to be a little more sweet, a little more sticky, or a little bit more chocolatey. They have no chocolate in them to begin with. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab equal parts of the dates and the walnuts. And the first thing we have to do is pit all of the dates. So now that we've pitted the dates, we're actually going to put those off to the side and we're going to take the walnuts, which are an equal amount of walnuts and dates. You can just eyeball it. You don't really have to measure it out cup for cup, but if you want to, you can. So equal parts, but first we're going to put the walnuts into the food processor and we're just going to lightly pulse them so they're chopped. If you put them in for a long time, what starts to happen is the oils will kind of release from the walnuts. It'll make more of a walnut butter, which isn't what we're going for right now. So you want them coarsely chopped. Walnuts are coarsely chopped. We're going to add the dates in there and we're going to combine them until it's nice and smooth and well blended. Um, and right before we combine them, actually, we're also going to add our sea salt. Two pinches, give or take. Again, I'm good with measurements. Dates are in there, roughly two pinches of sea salt. And what the salt does, what I found, is it helps bring out that sweetness, especially if you are going to add cocoa powder and agave, you would add them in now as a nice balance between the sweetness and the salty. So now that the dates and walnuts and salt are combined and nice and sticky and choppy, we're going to take them out and we're going to put them into a bowl so that we can mix them a little better. See, it's nice and choppy. It's sticky as well. Um, if it's not choppy and sticky enough for you and you don't really like the chunks of walnuts, you can always throw it in for a longer time. And again, those oils will release and it'll make it stickier. You can also add some agave at this point as well. You're going to take about a tablespoon full of the mixture here and you're going to squeeze it and roll it in your hands until it makes kind of like a donut hole, like a munchkin. And you're going to drop it into your coconut, roll it around until it's lightly covered, and there's one. And then you're going to keep doing this until you have a whole plateful, and then eat to your heart's content.